hi guys so today's video is going to be on how to make an end card with a video playing inside it like this one using picmonkey and imovie hi guys i've been so excited to share this video with you because i just realized that you can use quicktime to do a screen capture on your computer and i really liked making an end card and i thought it was really helpful and it was a video that not a lot of people have published on youtube and yeah i just wanted to share it with you guys and I'm sorry because this video is going to be really long and I'm just going to apologize for that in advance. So yeah, let's get started. First, you're going to want to go into your browser and go to pickmonkey.com, which is the site I've been using to do pretty much all of my YouTube channel art. Now you're just going to want to go into custom and enter the dimensions 1280 by 720. These are just the dimensions for the YouTube player. And now you're just gonna want to apply a white canvas. So PicMonkey can do a lot of cool things. You can have overlays, text, and pretty much anything you want. So for this, you're just gonna want to have your video playing right here, um, a text to say to watch your video, and something to say to subscribe, and all your social medias somewhere here. That's what you're just gonna want to include. So first, let's start by adding the text we want. So like this, click here to subscribe. And I mean, it looks pretty weird right now without any of the pictures, but just move it around and make it where you want. And then let's add one. So don't forget to watch my last video. And just play around with the fonts and the colors. I normally like to just keep everything basic, but I do like to change the fonts. I normally use my own fonts, but you can also use PicMonkey's fonts. So I'll use this one and for click here to subscribe, I will just use that one. And I'll have it in bold. So then you're just gonna want to get all of your pictures. So you're gonna want all of your social medias like Instagram. And when you're looking up for their pictures, search with a PNG. And all the PNG is gonna do is make sure they have a transparent background, which is what we want. So go into images and find the ones you like and just save them to your desktop you're going to want to do this with all your social medias like google plus and twitter so when you're done finding all your social medias you're just going to want to look for a subscribe button again you're going to want it to be png so that it has a transparent background once you've found the one you want just save it to your desktop and lastly you're going to want to search for the image to have a border to your video this is not necessary and also iMovie can make borders, but I just like to have the border of the iMac. So I'm just gonna look iMac transparent border and just save that to my desktop. So when you're done finding all of your images, you're gonna wanna go back to PicMonkey. You're gonna want to go to overlays and then you're going to click on your own and you're going to download all of the ones that you just saved to your desktop. I'm going to start by getting the one of my desktop so I'm just going to open that up and put that where I want it to go and I just like it right here and then where it says click here to subscribe I'm just gonna put my subscribe button and open that right under there and now I'm just gonna put all my social medias so yeah Thank you. 
once you've got all the social medias you want, make them the size you want and arrange them in a cute way, either at the bottom or in a side, but really however you like it. And I just like to write my tags next to them and yeah. So I'll just add some text and just gonna keep it simple and write my tag and then if you like the size of your writing just put it next to it and you can duplicate the text so that it can be the same on all of them and once you've gotten it in a way you like just go wild and decorate it and I like to add some tumblr arrows and things that really represent my channel and rearrange things until I really like my end card you can also change the color of your over overlays over here using PicMonkey and I you can do that if you want but I really just like to keep them the way I like you can make them fade out and blend them into really cool looks. Now I'm just going to go and add a overlay from PicMonkey like a daisy or really anything you want but I like the daisies the most and just gonna move it right here. And once your end card is how you like it, it's going to want to save it in the file size that you like. I like to save it in the biggest file size for YouTube so that it looks nice when I make my video. And I'm just going to name it end card and save that to my computer. Now you're just going to want to go back to iMovie and you're going to go to where you want to insert your end card but for the purpose of this I'll just have a new project and name it end card and create that and you're just going to want to go into your computer grab the picture you just saved so I'm not using the one I just made, but this is one I made before, so I'll just drag that onto iMovie. And now I always have the video that I made last playing in this computer screen, so you're going to put a picture in picture effect, but to make picture in picture effect work, you're going to want to go to iMovie preferences, then make sure you have show advanced tools clicked on so then you're going to want to get the video here to be not in ken burns so you're just going to click fit and then you're going to want to make it into the length you want and i think 10 seconds is perfect for a preview i guess into your other video so yep now you're just going to want to get 10 seconds from your last video or from any video that you like and drag that over your thing and you're going to see this little plus sign appear and that's going to be a good sign and when you do this just click picture in picture and you're going to go here and you're just going to move that to fit your computer screen or your border now if you didn't take make the computer screen it's always another way and you just have to go here and go to settings you're going to go to clip adjustments and you're going to go to border width and make it whatever size you want for this one i'll do this way and just put your border and as you can see here you can just choose black white or transparent ish gray color and since i don't want a border i'm just going to click no border but if you want it you can just put it there so yeah, now your video will play in your end card at the end of your movie. And 
you will have the cutest end card which will gain you subscribers and views so i hope this helps you and if you want more videos like this where i can show you some tips and tricks to help your youtube videos please like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoy thanks for watching this video i hope this helped you make the perfect end card and if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and yeah let's get on to my real end card so if you want to see my last video where I show you how to make these real, really cute bottle cap containers, click here to watch it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys!